I'm here by myself at the U.S. border with Mexico, and behind me, we have hundreds of immigrants that are coming to the country right as you are watching this video. ¿Cómo fue el viaje así aquí? Pues ha sido un poco difícil, pero aquí andamos en la lucha. Yeah. Yeah. ¿Algu ¿Alguien habla inglés? No. No. Yeah. Apenas venimos a aprender. Sí, hay que aprender. Hey. Y ahora, ¿qué le gustaría compartir al mundo? En, en cuanto a la situación en sus propios países. Que lo intenten, que el que no lo intenta, pues. Ya. Yeah. Tenemos el país con mucha violencia, tenemos el país con mucha violencia, muchas matazones, no han querido hacer. Sí. Por eso venimos huyendo de nuestro país para que nos echen la mano acá, a ver si en USA nos ayudan. Sí. Wow. There's tons of people are coming in right now. I don't have much to give. I don't even know if this is legal to do. Hola, hola. Necesitan agua. Okay. ¿De dónde son ustedes? Guatemala. De Guatemala. ¿Y cómo se sienten estar aquí en los Estados Unidos? <laughs> y ahora de dónde van? Porque venimos a, a, en mi caso, a buscarle solución a la enfermedad de mi hijo. ¿Alguna de ustedes habla inglés? No. Nadie habla en inglés. Bueno, ¿y qué le gustaría compartir? Que luchen por sus sueños, ¿verdad? Y que no se, no se queden en el camino, ¿verdad? Que se levanten a pesar que se caigan. Ajá. Que luchen. Que luchar. Ya, éxito, éxito. Yeah, I also have no one with me at all, and I have no thing to protect myself, so I hope these people are nice. They the only son? De Cuba. All these people just came in. Now they're on their walk towards getting taken by Border Patrol. Wow, there's so many people coming in right now. This is insane. I'm like super nervous, honestly. All of these people are on their way to surrender themselves to the U.S. Border Patrol not to be sent back to their country, but to be set free into America. Over 2.5 million illegal immigrants have entered into the United States this year. What you are about to watch isn't just a group of hopeful seekers looking for a better life. It's a massive, unsettling reality, a challenge that's digging to the core of our national security. Today, I'm going to show you what is actually going on at the United States border as I talk to locals and the vice president of the Border Patrol Council, exposing the truth and going beneath the surface to one of the most controversial issues America has ever faced. On boots on the ground today. We're gonna to be pulling up on these people. Yo hablo espanol. I speak Spanish. We're gonna be talking to these people. This is gonna be like a news coverage that you have never seen in your life before. I promise. Va a ser excelente. We're here in the small city of Ajo, Arizona. We're about 20 miles outside of Lukeville. So we're gonna to talk to the people here, see what's going on, get a little bit more information before I head down to the border. We're here with an Ajo resident. Man, how is this immigration affecting the city here in Ajo? It's affecting quite a bit. Really? And in what ways? Mainly just the traffic not going down to Rocky Point. Mm -hmm. You know, we're slowing down Ajo quite a bit. So no one's coming through Ajo because of the immigration? Yeah. Do you think it's because people have this fear of coming down here to Ajo? Or what, what would be the cause of all that? Probably the fear. The fear. Do you guys get a lot of immigrants that come through the city here? Not really. No? So where do they all go once they get through Lukesville? They, they ship them out on, on buses. And where do, they ship them, where do they ship them to? I don't know. But none of them are landing here in Ajo. And how is the city of Ajo been affected by what's been going on here? I have no idea. No idea? I haven't seen anything. Really? Out in the desert, I've seen nothing. Really? You haven't seen Im uh, immigrants running around or no, crossing around? No. like that. Really? I have never seen any. The camp out there and stuff, I never see anybody. So it's a pretty safe place? Down here in Ajo? Really safe. What do you guys think about what's going on down here? For us, I feel they need to close the border. Rephrase that, Sandy. Rephrase that, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, not close it, but they need to cut back on how many immigrants they're actually let, or illegals they're letting in, put that one. Yeah, and so, immigrants. What, what, but what's the solution to all this? Uh, I have no idea. Just stop it Just until they do it legally. Yes, people shouldn't be coming in until That's they can right. come in legally. That's right. Yep. Mm -hmm. With the 2024 election, there's going to be some changes, or what are you guys expecting to happen? Depends on who gets in. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. And is the government yeah. right now doing anything to help you guys and help the people down in Lukesville and these other uh, little cities down here? No. No. Not Nothing. At all. Nothing. Nope. And it's going to really hurt these little cities. Yeah. Y la gente le, le tratan diferente porque ustedes son mexicanos o porque ven con todo lo que está pasando ahí. No. No, no, no. Le, no, no han visto no. un cambio en los corazones de la gente. No, no, no. Nada, sí. Nada, nada, nada. Coming through here today because I'm trying to get a better story of what's going on here in the city of Ajo and down here in the immigration. And, oh, uh, yeah. They bust them past us. Oh, really? Where do they ship them to? Uh, probably up to Phoenix. Buckeye, Phoenix, 
from what I was told, which isn't really the um, um, it's secondhand news. Yeah. They 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 uh, take them from the border. They try to get them as far out as they can up, up to um, um, Buckeye, Phoenix. Somewhere and where there's some. Once they're processed, and then some I help I, for them. I heard they yeah. give them a card that's got money on it. Really? Yeah. Uh, someone said up to twenty five hundred dollars, and then they give them a plane ticket wherever they want to go in the United States. So they just give them money once they get into the United States, and then have them get shipped off to where they need to go. Yeah, evidently. But uh, we 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 have our card out here. We're we're try, trying to encourage people for Bible studies and. We just we just see what goes on coming in and out, and that's about it. Yeah, so immigrants aren't coming into your guys' cities. Yeah, well, I mean, there may be a few, but we uh, we haven't seen we we haven't seen them. But I, they, I know I, I see buses that go yeah. past this, and they got all the windows blocked up. Really? Yeah, the buses are full. Yeah. Usually, I don't know how who, who's doing it, but they're they're just getting uh, battery operated sawzalls and cutting through that fence. Really? Yeah, they can cut right through it, and and. Uh, and uh, people are just, they, they get over 2,000 immigrants a day down there. Wow. Coming in. Yeah, I gotta go check it out. There were 17,000 well, that came. Yes, be careful. 17,000 <laughs> that came in in one day, Nick. 17,000? 17,000. As I was driving to the border, I was passed by multiple vans that were supposedly filled with immigrants. Just got passed by four big white vans, all black tinted out windows. And I believe those buses could be filled with immigrants that are getting taken to a secret place where they drop them off, give them a credit card, and then they go on their journey. So the border entry is completely closed. I thought people would be maybe coming through the fences and stuff, but what I hear is everyone is coming through a street called Puerto Blanco. That's what the lady at the gas station just told me. So I'm gonna be heading over there. She said only media, maybe I'll get through. I am media. No one ever questions a man with the vest. Alrighty, everyone is here. As I got closer to this encampment in the middle of the desert, I realized these were the exact same vans I had just been passed by. Encampments. Oh my gosh, here they are. Okay, here, this is where everyone's at. Full of immigrants right there. They're all coming in here into the United States border. They're right here. They're loading them up into the cars right now. I kept driving and within minutes I encountered a family that had just been smuggled over the borderline by the Mexican right, cartel. Came over. How's it going? Hey, how are you? Nice to meet you. Sure. Nice to meet you. Are you a journalist? Uh, I'm just independent. I just. Uh, Hola, ¿cómo está? I don't know. ¿Cómo se like siente estar aquí en los Estados Unidos? They're kind of vulnerable. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so I feel like getting them on camera is something they don't want. Yeah, so I'm just going to talk and kind of see what's going on. Right. But, you know, it's like privacy and everything. Yeah, yeah, I understand. ¿Por cuánto tiempo estaba viajando hacia aquí? Casi un día. ¿Cómo fue el viaje aquí? Bien cansado. Bien cansado. ¿Y ahora cómo se siente saber que está aquí en los Estados Unidos? Bien. Bien está. ¿Dónde quiere ir? Ah, pues donde está Florida. ¿Van para Florida? ¿Tiene familia por ahí? Sí. Sí. ¿Por usted cómo? ¿Por qué tomaron la decisión para venir aquí a los Estados Unidos? Ah, pues es que allá donde vivimos anda mucho narco. Mucho narco, sí. Muy peligroso. Okay, ahora como que su plan para que llegas con su familia. No, que no sé. No sé cómo va a hacerlo. Yo creo esperar nomás. Uh -huh. Esperar hasta que uh, como la policía vengan uh -huh. aquí y después le van a llevar a, hacia dónde. Uh, yo creo inmigración. A la inmigración y después de la inmigración qué pasa. No sé. No sé. <laughs> <laughs> just got done talking to my guy Ann Hill. He just came over. Um, this is what it's really like here at the border. Every they got fires. Pretty sad scene, honestly, because there's just a bunch of clothes and other stuff that people have had to leave behind here. Books, the jackets, the tinfoil blankets, their shoes, they've left everything behind and kept came across the wall. I'm gonna keep driving on this road and see if there's any other people. Here's like little encampments, but oh my gosh, there's people over there. We're going, there's, oh my gosh, there's a bunch of people coming in right now. Wow, there's so many people coming in right now. This is insane. I'm like super nervous, honestly. Yeah. ¿Cómo se llaman ustedes? Carlos Noguera. Yeah. Carlos. Sí. ¿Y de dónde son? Yo Nicaragua. 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 Sí. 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 Sí.
¿Y cómo se sienten ahora para estar aquí en los Estados Unidos? Muy bien. Muy bien. Muy bien. Más en paz, es un sueño para la familia de uno, sí. para uno poder ayudar a su familia. Y ahí como está la situación en Nicaragua, que por todos lados hay policías y guardias, que ya no pueden ni salir de la casa uno. ¿En serio? Sí. En y... Nicaragua no puede salir uno, ¿por qué? ¿Por qué? Porque ahí está la policía en cada esquina. ¿Cómo fue el viaje? ¿Alguien le gustaría compartir su historia? Sí, ¿de dónde es usted? ¿Es ¿De Venezuela? ¿De Colombia? Dominicano. Dominicano. Ah, ok. I just do it all by myself. I'm here by myself. It's kind of dangerous, but... And, and the cartel may not be very happy with you being that close to them. Is the cartel really close? They're the ones that are running the cooperation. The man speaking turned out to be the vice president of the Border yeah. Patrol Council, and he was uh, nice enough to give me an interview. Do you have the pleasure of speaking with you today? So, uh, my name is Art Del Cueto. I'm the vice president of the National Border Patrol Council. Okay. And what are we seeing right now? Right now, we have people coming through the border. We have families that are crossing over, and they're just walking here so in the United so States. So you have a lot of groups that are just continuously walking in this area, right, and mm -hmm. coming through. They make different breaches against the, against the fence, and then they come through and they start walking, and they continue to walk over. There's a station further down where they turn themselves in uh, or they wait for transport. Uh, and you're just seeing it, you know, it's, it's just a mass amount of individuals. A lot of them, you know, they're going to, uh, at the end, they're going to claim some type of asylum once they get detained. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, realistically, the, uh, the problem is, you know, this is all driven by the drug cartels. They're the ones that uh, operate in this area. They know to move groups in different spots. Mm -hmm. And they realize that a lot of this, it disrupts some of the operation because their ultimate goal was to be able to bring drugs into the United States. Is it possible that some of these people could be bringing in drugs? I mean, I mean you don't know. Or? You don't know until until they actually yeah, get, you know, a thousand you, you don't know until they actually get, you know, uh, vetted and detained correctly. I love you, Joe Biden. Thank you for everything, Joe Biden. Uh, you just don't know, and you don't know anyone's intentions. And I think that's part of the problem. Look. Um, I am 100% for uh, legal migration, mm -hmm. uh, but unfortunately, uh, what we're seeing right now is just um, different individuals that are constantly coming inside. Uh, at some point, they will claim some type of asylum, uh, but people need to understand that uh, actual uh, uh, monetary issues or your financial situation is not an actual asylum. Being out here by so, myself, I'm a woman job. Is it a little dangerous to be out here? It should. Be. It is dangerous because, like I said, the people that are controlling this entire area are the drug cartels. They're the ones that are using uh, individuals to come across. They, they realize that this administration has, you know, the gray areas that they've established, so they use those gray areas to bring uh, more individuals across as um, pretty much a, a distraction mm -hmm. because their ultimate goal is to bring drugs. But nothing comes through here without the okay of the drug cartels. Why do I have to worry about the cartel? Cartel controls this border. Right like, will they right shoot? Can are, they shoot from right there? Yeah. Like, yeah. They, will they shoot at people? Yeah. I mean, we've heard gunshots. They're, they're having a battle on the Mexican side right now. That's why you got to be careful. There's an actual cartel war going on over there. Really? Yeah. So I got. Probably should have, uh, have seen a little cartel fight. Probably should have came here with some people then. Instead of just being <laughs> by myself. Yeah. Yeah, make sure. Get out of here early, bro. Don't stay here. All right. So after talking to this team that just came out, I'm a little nervous now. They're telling me cartel is literally on the other side of this place and they can shoot. They run this whole entire operation. I'm just a one-man job. I'm like actually freaking nervous. Holy crap. I'm on right here on the U.S. line. We got the cartel on the other side of this border right there. And that trailer is full of migrants who are going to be coming into America illegally. You can kind of see the door where they are loading all the immigrants in. ¿Qué es ahí? Sí, ¿qué es ahí? Ya, entonces vinieron aquí por... ¿Por dónde? Por allá. Venimos caminando desde hace como cuánto, como una hora o más. Una hora más o menos. Más o menos, sí. Venimos de, había de México. Un, había un cuarto aquí en la reja. Este, pasamos allá pues. Nos pasaron, ajá, y ya. Wow. Uh -huh. ¿Qué son tus sueños ahora que está aquí pues, en los este, Estados Unidos? Estamos pidiendo la ayuda pues para que nos puedan proteger ¿verdad? De, de la delincuencia de nuestro país. Hay mucha delincuencia ahí. En Demasiada México? delincuencia, sí, allá en Guerrero. Y dinero y ahora que como ustedes se sienten a estar aquí en los Estados Unidos bien bien, bien. bien. más bien. seguros y ahora tiene familia donde or, a dónde van a ir ahora este, aquí a Washington a queremos wa ir a Washington a Washington con la familia con la familia tiene sí. más familia sí, por ahí sí. y, y usted? usted como papá cómo fue el proceso de tomar la decisión a salir de su propio país para llegar a otro país a, para buscar una mejor vi vida per, para su familia? Eh, pues para, para mis hijas más que nada porque llevan buenas calificaciones y quiero que este, tengan una mejor vida pues allá y le echen ganas, tengan una carrera y sean unas personas porque hay más facilidades allá pues. Y vamos a echar ganas, ojalá y eh, Estados Unidos nos dé la oportunidad ¿Verdad? Este, le vamos a demostrar que somos personas humildes uh -huh. y aparte somos cristianos. Ajá, sí. Y por eso andamos aquí. Personas de bien, nomás que este, pues, venimos en busca de, de, 
de, salir de la delincuencia, ¿verdad? Quisiéramos dejar la, el país, pues, no lo quisiéramos dejar nuestras casas y nuestras cosas, pero porque sí. es necesario por miedo. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que tuvieron que dejar ahí en su propio país? Sí, nuestra casa, nuestras cosas, pues, nuestro Animales. trabajo. Animales. Ajá, nos, uh -huh. pero pues tenemos que buscar este... Here are all the immigrants now. They are now waiting for the border patrol to come and take them. They are going to be taken and put into vans and then they will be dispersed into the United States and from then they'll be off on their own. Some of these people have had walked hundreds if not thousands of miles to get to the borderline. So I want to take the time to sit down and hear their stories and understand what made them leave their countries to come to America. Did you solo with your family? Solo. So, you came solo? Yes. How many years do you have? 17. 17 y, y fue de su, se fue de su casa solo. Uh -huh. Hasta aquí. Uh -huh. ¿Y cómo lo hizo? ¿Cómo lo vino? Entonces, ¿qué es su plan ahora? No, no sé. <laughs> ¿Cómo fue el trayecto hasta que llegó aquí? Pues vine escalando una por ciudad. ¿Cómo llegó? ¿Dónde llegó? De? Bueno, cogí un, un primer vuelo que encontré de Ecuador hasta El Salvador y de ahí vine escalando. Hasta El Salvador y después de El Salvador ustedes... ¿Vinieron aquí Escal caminando? Escalando 100 buses, pasando. ¿Y uh, ahora qué es su plan? Eh, tratar de darles este, seguridad más que todo a mis hijos porque en Ecuador está muy peligroso. ¿Y qué es lo que está pasando en su propio Secuestros, país? Secuestros, robos, matanzas, extorsiones, sé que lo que si no paga le matan, le meten bomba a la casa. Todo eso está pasando en mi país. Wow, sí, agotador. Demasiado agotador. Muy cansado. Muy cansado. Sí, hambre miedo, lugares que no se conocen, uh -huh. todo por un buen vivir. Y se siente mejor ahora, menos que están esperando aquí. Sí, es un alivio estar aquí. Ya. Estamos ya un, un alivio porque llegamos a donde queríamos llegar. Y... ¿Qué le gustaría que la gente sabe sobre ustedes? Así que no nos discriminen es lo, lo, digamos, lo primordial. Por ser de otro país, no, no nos traten de de diferente manera. Por ejemplo, ¿qué es la cosa que han visto en su propio país y eh, por qué eso le, le, les llevó a tomar la decisión de venir por aquí? Secuestran mucho a las niñas, a las adolescentes y las secuestran, las llevan y las dejan matando. ¿En serio? Sí. Usted tiene un negocio, usted le piden una cantidad más de entrada, le piden tres mil, cuatro mil dólares, si usted no paga, le meten una bomba a su casa, le meten bala, le secuestran hasta que usted pague. ¿En serio? ¿Le dejan bombas es, en sus casas? Es, sí, ahí están las noticias de Ecuador, están muy mal. Ponen videos muy crueles, como los matan uh, en, en las cámaras, ruedan los videos, los sacan la cabeza, los descuartizan. Está muy terrible. Hoy me levanté con la noticia que han matado a mi amiga. ¿En serio? Sí. As I was leaving the border, I met a little boy who had been wearing the same shirt for 18 days. I may not be Mr. Beast, but I do have an extra shirt to give. I'll be praying for these people, and I hope the people in charge of our country will take control and get this problem solved. No doubt there's a problem at the border, and something needs to happen. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and I'm excited to read your comments down below. This is Nick Shirley, and I'll see you next video.